What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's Mitsuni Nika. I'm officially back from my six to seven month long break. And I know it's been a long time since I've even given an update about what's been going on or when I would be back or when the next video would be ready. But my IRL life has not been the greatest these past six to seven months. And my physical health has been taking a huge toll on me along with my darn mental health. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, we're here to officially announce my darn return. And this is my return video. So sit back and grab your popcorn and snacks or whatever you know grab your drinks and get ready for this one but um i won't be uploading videos as much as i used to on this darn channel now because i have to focus on my darn physical health at the moment which has not been the greatest lately but i will still be uploading videos whenever i get the chance to just not as much as i used to at the moment today we're going to be talking about a various amount of things we're going to be talking about antis, we're going to be talking about Genshin Impact and the darn boycott that's for some reason still kind of going on lately. Yes, I know that's a whole fucking doozy. Wait until you get into that. We're going to be talking about something that's actually pretty positive for a lot of, you know, fictional content enjoyers and the lollicons and stuff out there. And is a complete and total fucking nightmare for the antis. For all the antis out there, all those who sat there and called Lolicon and Shotokan pedophilia, for all of those who fought so valiantly against it, and yet they knew they were fighting a losing battle and they still did it anyway. And I called it out. I told them they were fighting a losing battle and yet they still did it anyways you know they had to get their little moral grandstanding points on the internet and shit their little brownie points and stuff and they had to sit here and slander and target and harass other people over their fucking anime characters for whatever reason i'm not sure really something must be wrong up there in that chrome dome of theirs but anyway we're going to be getting into a various amount of things today so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video, and we're going to start this off with something very positive. UN's new cyber draft spares anime and manga, including lollies and shoulders, from being classified as CSAM and facing censorship. But MP Taro Yamato, who's working to ensure that non-real content won't be affected, warns the fight isn't over. And then they provide a source down below. So this right here is already very, very great news. Unbelievably great news. It's very positive for all of those out here who enjoy fictional content, like anime characters, and are sick and tired of getting slandered over it and being called pedophiles or, you know, just criminals in general over shit. Now, I can already hear the aunties coping, seething, and mauling, and crying, and punching the darn wall at this news. I can already see them just freaking, just going into a blind, feral rage at the fact that the UN would even decide to do something like this. But, obviously, they're just a bunch of fucking moronic idiots, because this entire time they've been fighting a losing battle that they know they were losing, and I called it from the darn start. But, nope. Did they listen? They didn't listen at all, of course, people. They sat here, slandered others, called them pedophiles over anime drawings and lollies and shit. And yet, look at this right here. The proof of their useless effort and utter incompetence. And ignorance, of course, because they didn't listen at all. You know, they just, they had to get those internet brownie points. They had to morally grandstand. And yet, in the end, they fought a battle they already knew they were losing. They probably just didn't expect to lose this quickly. All right, well, let's move on to another thing that I want to also talk about. So this account on Twitter has, for some reason, just been trying to follow after all the darn other accounts on Twitter that get a bunch of likes and clicks and brownie points on the Internet from antsies and stuff by targeting the darn lollicons and calling them pedophiles or trying to frame them as pedophiles. Now, this account on Twitter does occasionally post exactly what its gimmick says which is delusional takes and that's the account name it, it's called delusional takes so you're going to see some instances right here of this darn account trying to frame lollicons in a bad way to where it make it seem like they had posted some delusional crazy takes and try to frame them as pedophiles because of course what account or person or fucking commentary channel or whoever on YouTube or Twitter is not always trying to frame the darn lollicons as pedophiles over drawings. So they're going to post some out of context screenshots right here from conversations, but I'm going to show you a bit of the darn full context, 
which is something that this account fails to do so that way you can get the full picture of what's really going on and the crazy part about it is that in one of these darn screenshots a person who was over here trying to defend lolicon and stuff was talking to an auntie that was literally going to search up how to safely have sex with children and i know you just heard that right now and you're thinking that that's a fucking joke but it's not at all and this auntie even backed out of doing it because they were afraid of getting on a watch list and was like yeah i can't i, I don't have the courage to do something like that i don't want to make that decision but the, the crazy part about it is how does something like that even go through your fucking mind to ever decide to do? But enough of that. I'm going to show you guys the screenshots. So this is one of the accounts posts right here about someone who was talking about Lollicon. So this is one of the posts right here from this account, Delusional Takes, where someone was talking about Lollicon and was debating an ante over whether it was pedophilia or not. Simple. Explain why pedophilia is bad. I'll even be generous and will pretend Lollicon is 100% pedophilia. Whenever you give a flimsy, subjective reason or talk about something else than pedophilia like rape or stuff like that, you have to try again. Go. So as you can see right here, this account is making it seem like this person was probably talking about, you know, how they don't think pedophilia is bad or something like that. Obviously isn't the fucking case. They were over here debating an ante talking about lollicon being pedophilia and them disproving their darn points and then asking them to explain why pedophilia is even bad in the first place since they don't seem to understand why pedophilia is bad they weren't defending pedophilia obviously that's fucking just disgusting and horrible and they're trying to frame them as if this person was trying to defend pedophilia when that wasn't the case at all they were asking an auntie to explain why it was bad because they don't seem to understand why it's bad and they keep trying to equate it to lollicon i'm going to show you guys a bit of the conversation because it's actually a pretty long one but just so you guys can get the gist of what was really actually going on i'm going to show you a few of the screenshots from their conversation nice attempt at an ad hominem lol yeah except i didn't attack your character this is the anti right here in question that these people were debating you're a pedophile full stop you defend the material that originated from pedophilia i have a great challenge for you if you're dead set on this it's pedophilia tirade nobody i challenged has succeeded yet they all gave up and ran away cursing or had to admit lollicon is not pedophilia are you up for it? This is the person from the screenshot. More pedophile challenges. God, you're all the same. Let's hear it. Simple. Explain why pedophilia is bad. I'll even be generous and will pretend Lollicon is 100% pedophilia. Whenever you give a flimsy subjective reason or talk about something else than pedophilia like rape or stuff like that, you have to try again. And there's the context right there. Now, as you can see right here from the full darn context, this person was not over here trying to defend pedophilia or nothing like that or you know try to make the claim that maybe it's not fucking bad no this account was just posting this shit out of context to frame it that way and to paint lollicons and stuff in a bad light because this person also mentioned lollicons now the crazy part about it is that i told you that this anti that they were over here debating is also someone who was going to look up how to safely have sex with children and i'm going to show you the proof because it's absolutely fucking stunning it all originated from this conversation in the first darn place. Here's the part right here where this person was actually going to search up, and I hate to say this again, but they were going to search up how to safely have sex with children. Jesus Christ, I know, that's that's a lot to fucking take in. Never mind, I don't want to get put on a government watch list. I'm not ready for that risk. And then you can see right there in the screenshot, it says exactly what I have already told you before that this person was trying to search up and they got massive fucking backlash from this a hundred quotes and only five likes for some fucking reason. I don't even know who those five people were that liked this post. I don't see how the fuck you could like a tweet like this when they were literally going to search up something so fucking heinous and disgusting. And then down below they say abort abort. Uh. This is the one time that I will say that the source is trust me, bro, because the search is way too dangerous for me. I'm not joking. Way, way, way too dangerous. I'm not even sure why the fuck someone would ever have a thought like this go through their head to ever search up. Like, I don't even think it matters whether you search it up or not. I think the fact that you typed it in has already put you at the top of the government list. So, yeah, buddy. People are quote tweeting this like I did something horrific. You did? Dude, I backed out. I didn't want to know what would happen if I actually searched it. And clearly there was a reason I typed it out. There should never be a reason for you to ever type up something like how to safely have sex with children. There should, there's a zero 
point zero point zero point zero point zero point zero point zero fucking reason like percentage of a reason for you to ever want to search up something so fucking horrible there should never there should never be a reason okay that a thought like that should never even have to cross your mind i i don't even know why the hell i'm saying this people okay but don't ever do this okay don't ever have a thought like this go through your head even if it's for research I I don't even know what to say, but of course, you know, as you can see, the aunties are always the ones doing the most horrible shit ever or trying to look up the most horrible shit ever, while at the same time trying to frame others as the real criminals. All right, next we're going to be getting into this segment over here about an auntie on Twitter who literally said that they were going to commission art of children and then post it towards someone that was defending Lollicon. I wish I was joking, but the aunties are once again proving that they're the real criminals all fucking long, and it's just honestly just disgusting, man. It's just completely revolting and disgusting at this darn point that these aunties, they just keep doing this shit. They just keep getting outed, or they just keep exposing themselves as the real disgusting, heinous people, the real criminals all along, despite the fact that they want to sit here and morally grandstand and possibly just be deflecting this entire fucking time because they're trying to hide the fact that they're the ones with skeletons in the darn closet. So let's get into this situation. It all started over this account on Twitter that was making a thread about the female cast in My Hero Academia, which is a, which is a shonen action anime. And I've only seen like half of season one. I haven't really watched that much of it, but it was pretty good so far. I should honestly get back into watching more of it. But uh, that's not what we're here to talk about today. So I'm not going to be covering the entire thread. I'm just going to look at these two little posts right here from this account that was making this darn thread. My problem with My Hero Academia's female cast, a thread. And then as you can see right here, they got a bunch of screenshots of artwork of the many female characters in the show. And, and as you can see right here from this screenshot, this is one of their second points in the darn thread. Which, you know, I'm not going to be covering the entire thing because it's just complete and utter fucking AIDS and cancer. And it's just absolutely nonsensical with all the darn points that they come up with. Number two, sexualization. That has to be borderline misogynistic. I simply hate how most female characters in My Hero Academia are an object of sex appeal. Especially at the beginning. Sexualization was always a nothing term created to demonize men for having a healthy functioning sex drive. As you can see right here from this account that quote tweeted this darn post. And here's the anti in question I was talking about that is literally going to go on to say that they're going to commission an art of children. It is a show for kids based on a manga for kids. Do you think 12 year olds should be sexualized? The woman in the image is an adult. No, you are a pedo because you like to draw little girls naked. Making shit up in your head I see. No, I am making an alt, and I am going to commission you to make perverted art about children and post it exposing you. What the fuck, man? I Do I even need to say it at this point? Just reset the fucking clock already once again. Because these entities are constantly out here exposing themselves as the real disgusting fucking criminals who should be locked up and have the key swallowed. <sighs> All right, now the next thing that I'm going to get into is the Genshin Impact slash Hoyoverse boycott because last month they released their new region called Natlin and then a bunch of Termally Online Twitter people and even a few freaking news websites accused Genshin Impact and Hoyoverse of cultural appropriation and racism all because all the characters in the Natlin region are too white. They have too much darn melanin. They wanted more light-skinned and darker-skinned characters inside of Natlin. Now, I know that sounds absolutely fucking stupid, but let's get into this situation. We've done it. 100,000 signatures strong. This amazing milestone shows just how many of us care. Your support can make a real impact. Let's keep pushing for action and keep signing. 100k for change. Hashtag boycott Hoyoverse. Hashtag representation matters. Together we stand for change a hundred thousand now. This is just absolutely fucking stupid right here, man Like I don't even I do you even need me to explain to you just how stupid it is for people like this to be Over here trying to accuse Holyoverse of 
racism and cultural appropriation just because they want more brown skinned and lighter skinned characters in their fucking game, man. Like, what? I don't know what this obsession is with always trying to make a bunch of characters like light skinned or, you know, making them darker skinned or making them African American or some other kind of shit. And the same thing is going on with trans people where they keep trying to make every fucking character trans or they keep trying to claim that such and such is trans. They keep trying to claim anime characters, characters from video games, characters from movies or books or just anything is trans for some reason, all because of simple little stupid shit. Or just, they'll just come out and automatically say it and then be like some, well, we claim this character. And the same thing, it just keeps happening over and over again. The same darn thing with these people online trying to claim that these characters are either trans or that these characters are brown skinned or that they should be trans or they should be brown or light skinned. And then they'll accuse you of like racism or cultural appropriation or that you're just a freaking transphobic you're a bigot you're a stupid moron and just a whole bunch of other ridiculous nonsense but let's take a look at a few more things that's been going on with this darn boycott over a dozen genshin impact voice actors lay into developer hoyoverse for inexplicably pale characters after natlin reveal you still got time to fix it people are absolutely within their rights to demand better representation what fucking representation it's a video game people it's a fucking anime gotcha game for your mobile devices and for PC. And on PS5 as well, but that's besides the fucking point, man. Like, what are you talking about? There's no need for no representation or whatever kind of fucking nonsense you're trying to come up with, man, to accuse these darn developers of racism and cultural appropriation. Like, are y'all stupid? Well, actually, that's a rhetorical fucking question. Of course you guys are, because you're sitting over here complaining online about anime characters in a fucking region in a gacha game saying that, oh, well, you know, these characters, man, we need more representation. They're too white. They're too pale. They're not light skinned. They're not dark skinned enough. Like, this is absolutely darn moronic. And then people online and on Twitter have been like trying to talk about how you should mail Mahoyo about what's been going on. You know, you should freaking start a boycott, send them messages. You should downvote their games. You should send freaking negative reviews. Like, it's absolutely nuts. Like, look at this right here. This screenshot right here from this account called Jun Yoon. Email them. Genshin at CS at Holyoverse.com. And as you can see, they sent them a darn email about, you know, regarding the darn Natlin characters. Dear Genshin Impact Team, first and foremost, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for your continued dedication and working hard on Genshin Impact. As a fan, I appreciate all that your team does to bring this amazing game to us. Thank you so much. I understand that the world of Teva is fictional. Okay, well, if you understand that it's fictional, I don't know why the fuck you're asking for more representation and trying to accuse them of cultural appropriation, but whatever, I guess. And that the nations and characters are informed by various real cultures that are mixed to create a fictional setting. I don't understand how someone can be so close to getting shit and still be like this. With so much research and attention put into the characterization of each nation in their design, Natlin included, it's disheartening to see those efforts be drowned out by the greenlit character designs. What are you talking about? that doesn't respectfully portray the people and the deities of those cultures. Please consider redesigning the Natlin characters with respect to the originating cultures, specifically the skin colors of the characters and the names of the deities. Are you fucking kidding me? Genjin Impact is loved by millions around the world, and I truly believe such an action will bring about even more fans to the game, and Holyoverse will gain an even higher level of respect from global fans. You know what? That was the issue right there, was them trying to appease global fans all the damn time and trying to go mainstream and shit, because now we got a bunch of fucking dumbass tourist morons like you guys over here trying to claim that a region in a game is cultural appropriation and racism. Thank you for your time. With respect, the English voice of Yip Tak, Kuyo Tak Takayuki, and other NPCs, Jun Yoon. So this right here is actually one of the voice actors in Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact and the Holyoverse has been firing some of their English VAs for the game because they've been over here supporting this darn boycott and been speaking out against it. And obviously no company is going to be keeping those that they have working with them that's speaking ill of their fucking company. 
Like, that's a PR nightmare right there. So, yeah, they've been supporting this darn boycott, and the Holyoverse has been firing the English VAs that have been doing this stuff. Genshin is not real life. At Genshin Impact, what kind of response is this when a player submits feedback about the racism and colorism? Customer service responded. Dear Traveler, thank you for your feedback. Please be kindly reminded that Genshin Impact is a work of fiction. There we go, Holyoverse. And is not related to actual people, events, groups, or organizations. We do really hope for your understanding. Kind regards, Genshin Impact CS Team. Well, that says it enough right there, people. Genshin Impact is a work of fiction, and even the Holyoverse devs already know such an obvious fucking point. Now, this right here is from another one of the VAs for Genshin Impact, where they are going online, and they're uh, basically attacking a bunch of people online, all because of another English VA that I guess they were friends with, I believe got fired as well, and they were speaking up and defending their friend because this person got fired for also supporting the darn Holyoverse boycott, which is obviously so fucking moronic, and obviously no company is going to keep you around if you're speaking ill of them, especially over something so stupid and supporting a boycott towards their product. I will go to fucking war for my friends. Yes, I would say it all in person. No, I do not care if I get fired for that. I know where my ideals and morals lie, and I will always roast the fuck out of assholes, especially for friends. And yes, I'm hot as fuck and bang a lot. It's my burden to bear. I don't know why the hell you needed to add that last point about you being hot and how you bang a lot. That sounds like something some fucking OnlyFans whore would brag about online about how they get so much fucking dick and shit. Like, no one gives a fuck how much fucking cocks you can take. That sounds like some whorish behavior right here, talking about how you bang a lot. People want me fired and are tagging Mahoyo because I was clapping back at racist trolls in Courtney's comments, saying I'm being mean and shit. If you don't want me to say mean shit back to you, don't say mean shit in the first place. Okay, upon further review, most of these accounts handing on us have an incriminating amount of lolly art on their pages. Maybe I shouldn't interact with those creeps. Yeah, of course, because this is what they always do right here. They'll always fucking... That's their last-ditch effort right there. Target lollies and target the fucking lollicons and stuff. But, hey, you know, I hope you losing your darn position as an English VA at the Holyoverse games was well worth it. Glad to see you got replaced. Hope you get replaced more often. You will never be important, and I think that makes you sad at night. No, I think the one who's sad at night is the one who got replaced as an English VA in a game, all because they wanted to sit here and support a fucking stupid-ass boycott about some racism and cultural appropriation and how the characters' skin tones weren't freaking brown-skinned enough. But let's move on, people. Now we're going to talk about this situation with this anime called My Dear Friend Nokotan. Nokotan is a show about a deer named Nokotan, a deer girl. And it's practically a comedy anime full of like brain rot moments and stuff. It's it's very funny, but it's also like very brain rotty. I've seen like a few clips and stuff of it. It's not a bad show. It's actually pretty hilarious and it's very self-aware of just how goofy and insane it can be at times. Now, what happened online was that someone made a post trying to claim that this character is trans all because Nokotan, the deer girl, has antlers. And they tried to make the claim that Female deers don't have antlers, so that means that Nokotan is actually trans. Yes, I know that sounds absolutely bumblefuckingly stupid, but hey, we're gonna sit here and listen to the dumbass point that they're gonna come up with to try and prove this to be right. Now, first of all, I just want to get this out of the way first because obviously what they said is completely false about how only male deers have antlers because there actually is some kind of female deers that do get antlers and those are called the caribous. They are actually the ones that have female deers that regularly get their antlers. All right, now as you can see right here from the screenshot, there are two accounts. One of those is called Note Those Jokes and then another one is called Arcadiac Maniac. And this is what Note Those Jokes was saying. Trans people and needing characters to be them will never not be funny. Imagine if I said every character needed to be my height in order to love myself. LOL. 
And then as you can see right here, Arcadiac Maniac quote tweeted this post saying, the character has male features. She is trans. It's not a headcanon. It's just a trans character. Female deers do not have antlers, which is obviously false. And then you can see right here, Community Notes absolutely destroying this dumbass post by saying, Noko Shikanoko is female. And there's also this post right here from Reb Says Desu quote tweeting Arcadiac Maniac and saying, looks like the progressive people are now claiming physical features determine gender, LOL. And then I want to show you this frame right here from the actual darn anime, where it's basically them saying not to take them seriously because they're just a dumb comedy anime. Note, deer actually change into their summer coats between April and May, but we're just some dumb comedy anime, so don't think about it too hard. So there's really no reason for anyone to be trying to claim that this darn character is trans or nothing because clearly that's not the case at all and even the anime recognizes that a lot of the things that are going on it are just nonsensical but it's just a dumb comedy anime so don't think too fucking hard about it like it was saying you know about the whole thing with deer changing into the summer coats between April and May. It's just a comedy anime. You shouldn't think too hard about what's really going on or how there's a female character with deer antlers that, by the way, she can take off with fucking ease and she can also take off the top of her head with the antlers on them with ease. I've seen a few clips from the anime and it's just completely silly, goofy brain rot shit, but it's very funny and I do suggest that you watch it if you love comedy anime or just anime in general. It's honestly ridiculous to me how there's always someone online like always a group of people that are always trying to claim that these certain characters or certain you know pieces of literature need trans characters in it need more brown skin characters or how these characters are brown skin or that they're trans and that it's just not a headcanon to them because it's an objective fact when they know that they're fucking wrong and yet they keep trying to peddle this darn point i don't know what's been going on with that lately but it's been happening a lot more and it's just absolute nonsense. But um, that's about all I wanted to cover for today. I did have a giant return video planned for this channel that I was going to put up. It was going to be about like five or so hours long where I would take a bunch of things that I compiled over these past six to seven months while I was on break. And I was going to cover all of these darn topics in this video. But... The way with things are going right now, I'm going to have to put that video on the back burner and just turn it into a whole different kind of video and maybe upload it at a later date once I'm much better and I'm able to actually get the rest of it done. But this was just a short, you know, little video right here. Basically, I guess you could call this one the return video, even though the other one was going to be the return video. But... You know, the, with the way my darn health has been lately, it hasn't been all that great. So, yeah, this will have to do for now. But with that being said, I digress. If you like what you saw, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. Or, you know, if you don't like what you saw, dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mitsuni Nika. I will see you all in the next video whenever I get the next video ready and I recover much more. You all have a blessed day and I'm out. Yeah. <laughs>